Good afternoon, good afternoon, and very good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the show. Welcome to Vugraphy. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I was shooting last week with two crop sensor mirrorless bodies from Nikon. And I came across something very interesting, like so interesting, that um, forcing me to make this video and I'm going to share with you. Uh, let me start with the first body, which is uh, this. This is the Nikon uh, G50. All right. It has this uh, uh, tilty screen at the back, which goes like I'm having an L bracket, so I cannot fully it downwards or something, but it is, it is like that. So, and it's that C50 with the EVF. All right. Okay. Same standard kit lens, 60 to 50. All right. Like looks fine. Making very good vlog, very good camera for making quick videos and stuff. Single card slot, like everything which is there. That's fine. It's, I don't know. It's like 700, 800 USD, something like that. I I don't know. I'll check and I put the price somewhere over there. Uh, okay. So Z50 standard. And then uh, there is another camera body which is this. This is Nikon Z30. All right, it has this fully articulated screen, unlike Z50, because Z50 has this tilty screen, like this. So, tilty screen versus fully articulated screen, that's the first difference. And uh, the Z50 or Z30 doesn't have the EVF, all right? So, you have to, uh, every time, you have to rely on the exposure and the color and everything on this you know, fully articulated screen. So, you have to rely on this and then you shoot as far as pictures are concerned that's fine you can you know add it time but for video it's kind of a thing which you need to you know focus fully whatever the exposures you are getting at the back you have to go with that when it comes to video but it's making for creating the vlog there yeah, you are making vlog like this you know all that so it's good uh, I own this Z30. I own the Z30. Uh, this uh, Z50 uh, provided by my Nikon Middle East. Thank you, Nikon Middle East, for letting me have this Z50 for testing out this thing. What happened was uh, these two having the same lens, 16 to 50, both having the same lens. All right. So, what happened when I was shooting with Z30 and Z50? What happened was. Uh, I was shooting both them side by side and just randomly and I noticed that the ISO on Z50 it's one full stop higher than Z30 despite having the same shutter speed and same aperture and I was like okay wait a minute why why Z30 is showing me you know less ISO and Z50 showing me high ISO same everything is the same same focal length same lenses then even the lenses are the same same lenses all right same aperture same shutter speed but why the ISO is double on Z50 on Z30 it's less the price of Z30 is less than Z50 because it's lagging EVF and uh, you know it's very it's it's entry limit but the quality of the image, the video that I'm getting from Z30 is better than Z50. That was a strange thing. I'm going to show you a video where I shot them side by side, same thing, same scene. And this C50 was having one full stop higher ISO performance. All right, we have a quick video. Eh? Uh, this is Z30, this is Z50, both are at the same settings, f8, 180th of the second, f8, 180th of the second, and auto ISO, but this Z30 is showing me ISO 2000, and Z50 showing me ISO 45, almost double, why I am not able to figure it out so far, but I just want to show you that. Now this is IS 1600, this, this stands 2500, almost double. 
why it's not playing. I, I don't know. Same setting, same autofocus, metric speed ring, and but the ISO is double. 1600, 3200. It's flooded, it's 3200. 1600 fits. Both are F8. Both are in the same lens, 16 to 55. But the ISO is double. This is really strange. Z30, Z50. Why this guy? And even there is no exposure compensation. It's zero. It's zero. Even on this guy, it's zero. Zero exposure compensation. But it's really strange. Strange behavior. That that was that was something I noticed. And I was like, okay. So what happened? What Nikon did? What Nikon did is when they launched Z50 with with the standard feature, they launched the Z30 with the same sensor but with better SNR firmware. So Z30 is having a less price with better SNR firmware that you're getting in compared inside the Z50. So Z50 is higher in price but with the EVF, all right. It doesn't have the fully articulated screen and it's having an SNR which give you one extra high ISO performance. I don't know why. But what I believe there, there, there definitely there could be a reason for Nikon to put it. But when the Nikon got Z30, they removed the EVF, they put, but because they, you are taking out something from a camera, so you have to add something in return to balance it. So my my, my understanding is Nikon, you know, they, they, they take out the EVF from Z30 and they put a better SNR firmware inside the Z30. That's why its performance at high ISO is better than Z50. So, in my overall, you know, picky, uh, that if you want to make video or if you want to take images quickly on the go, Z30 is a better option in compared to Z50. Of course, you will be fully relying on the camera back LCD, not the EVF because there is no EVF. So you are fully depending on what you see on the back of the screen. This is where the Z50 shines because it has this EVF at the top. So advantage goes to here. But it this way this is where the it's your call. That you are compromising on the EVF or you're compromising uh, some um, with the machine which better perform at high ISO. So EVF versus high ISO, EVF versus better SNR firmware. So it's your call what to choose. I personally choose Z30 because I can, I, I know I can adjust the uh, framing and video quality at, by using a camera back LCD. So I, I compromising on the camera back LCD and compromising on the EVF, but I know I'm getting a better result out from the camera that this camera performs one full stop better high ISO performance. So if this camera giving me 6400 ISO, I know this camera gives me 3200 ISO. I'm going to show you sample images now and you will see by yourself. So let's let's get back to the video. All right, so this is a quick comparison of uh, uh, I can see 30 and Z50. I took these sample images side by side. I tried to make uh, them identical as possible. So the green ones are uh, they are taken from the Z50 and the red ones are taken from Z30. And all of them are in manual mode. All right. And uh, in manual mode means uh, the ISO was auto. So I just adjusted the framing, the focal length and the shutter speed and the aperture and I let the ISO to be auto. So in this way, I, I will show you why uh, there is a difference in the ISO and the difference of the between the ISO uh, between the camera. Uh, it's is uh, not small amount, it's full, one full stop of difference. So uh, 
the Z50 on the left hand side is basically giving you higher ISO value and the right hand side this Z30 is showing low ISO value despite having the same identical light identical settings why because of the SNR firmware uh, SNR firmware inside Z30 is better that's why it's showing less noise uh, 5000 as you can see i shot these uh, on the left hand side uh, as you can see at f8 180th of the second 35 millimeter showing 10,000 iso and on the right hand side at the uh, z30 same 180 shutter speed f8 36 millimeter is just instead of 35 that's 35 36 but the iso is 5000 so instead of 10,000 instead of 10,000 on z30 i'm having 5000 iso so that's that's massive now uh, let me show you one more example there is one example where is uh iso is little bit different but because of the framing and this is on this example <clears throat> on the left hand side is 30 millimeter uh z50 on the right hand side is z30 uh my focal length was different that's why the iso is different so on the left hand side same 125th of the shutter speed at f8 the iso was 10000 on the right hand side on z30 i am having the same shutter speed 125th f8 but the iso was it should be uh, around 5000 but it's 7200 because of the framing my, my framing was too wide so that's why due to the petering uh, this uh, the iso jumped up but still it's very much low in compared to uh, Z50. Z, Z, on the left hand side is Z50. On the right hand side is Z30. Let me show you another example. In this example, the same. Uh, 125th of the second F8, uh, 16 millimeter on Z50. On the left hand side, uh, that's Z50. On the right hand side, it's uh, Z30. Same 125th of the shutter speed F8, 16 millimeter. But the IOC is literally half of z50 uh, which is 1800 or z30 so that shows that the the snr firmware inside z30 is better than z50 let's take a la one last example on the left hand side again it's uh, z50 125th f8 50 millimeter and it's 12800 eyes so on the right hand side same 125th f8 50 millimeter on z30 and the ISO is 5600. Can you imagine? See the difference? It's massive. One full stop ISO difference between uh, Z30 and Z50. So, Z50 is, yes, it uh, comes with EVF uh, and it's a little bit expensive, but it doesn't have the articulated screen it, and its ISO is quite high. So, on the left, on other hand, <clears throat> Z30 is having less ISO and is cheaper, and it has fully articulated screen. So, for making vlogs, Z30 is still preferable choice in my opinion, in compared to Z50. So, this is the quick side by side comparison, and as you can see, even the quality uh, uh, of the from C30 is still much more it appears to be better in my opinion than than C30 so that's it that's I want to show you guys hope I hope you find this video helpful and you will able to decide in future if you like to go with C30 or C50 let's get back to the final conclusion thank you so, so you saw how the difference was like days and nights of difference when it comes to uh, the ISO performance and also the dynamic range. So in my opinion, these two machines having different characters. I am, I cannot say that, okay, if you are not getting uh, a Z50, go with Z30, no. I will ask, if somebody is going to ask me, uh, what's your take on these two cameras? I'm going to say, if EVF is your priority, then go with Z50, period. If uh, the fully articulated skin is your requirement, then go with Z30. 
or if you want a camera which performs better in low light go with Z30 but if you want EVF you cannot live without EVF then Z50 I don't see any point other than EVF which gives its advantage over Z30 because Z30 is literally you know having an upper hand when it comes to image quality you know when it comes to fully articulated screen and all this besides both got the same sensor same resolution same everything almost single card slot same battery everything but results are different the outputs is totally different Z30 having a superior output I've made quite some videos about Z30 and I, and I was always endorsing that Z30 is a hidden gem it's it giving you more than what you're spending on it it's it giving you more and, and now it's proof now it's proven now that like when I'm comparing these two side by side the output of Z30 is better than Z50 so let me sum up this quick video uh, by saying that okay if you want EVF you can't live without EVF Z50 period finish nada but if you if you want a machine with better low light capability Z30 period and of course you will get fully articulated screen so that's it so that's my take thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in future with some new content till then take care bye